Albies at 158 in the spring, playing in his ninth game. This is hit to right field and well by Albies. And there is no doubt over the wall and gone and right for Ozzie Albies. Home run for the Braves. Well, I said it might be tough to turn that wind around today. Ozzie didn't waste any time, did he? The right fielder Margot took about a step and a half and then quit on it. So Albies gives the Braves the one nothing lead. Anderson leads off the top of the second inning for the Marlins. First pitch from Tyler McGill is slugged high and deep to right field. Marte's going back. Look it up, and she's gone. Tim Anderson to the opposite field. It's one nothing Miami. That is the swing that I watched a lot when Tim Anderson came up as a youngster with the Chicago White Sox. That was pretty impressive right there, the opposite way. Shades of his field of dreams homer against the Yankees a couple of and, years and ago. Involved in baseball for 51 years now. You know, 84 years young, and he looks better than ever. Uh-oh, uh -oh. fly ball deep left off the bat of Clement, and that's going to get out of here. Rudy Clement with a home run into the bullpen. All that's going to do, Rodney, is give us a little more time to talk <laughs> about what you think it meant to the young talent on this club, too, to go down there. You know, Those from the Dominican. I just talked to Simon earlier today. Well, with Eflin, everything's almost the exact same. That's a shot into left field. Well tagged. Ramirez will turn and watch it sail into the bullpen. And Danny Jansen has lined a home run into left field. So the Blue Jays have now scored in every inning. Yeah, Danny Jansen's got some pop. I mean, last year only played, he played in less than 90 games, still had 17 bombs. You see it right there, stay on that pitch, able to drive that thing out full side. High shot into left. Ramirez to the track, guarding his eyes to the wall, and it's gone. So Schneider hitting his second spring home run. That makes it 9-2. to two. Boy, Schneider having himself a day up at the plate. A lot of barrels today. Seeing the ball really, really well here in spring training. And everything's going pull side for him. And right here, I mean, that's just a hanging off speed pitch. And a high fly ball to left field. Going back is De La Cruz. And that one is gone. The first runs of the day come on a two run home run by Oscar Gonzalez. It's his first spring training home run. And the Yankees take it to nothing. Spring, lead. He's really come out and swung the bat well and he's kind of forcing forcing the issue here. Geloff with a high fly ball to deep left field. Guriel Jr. watches it go. It is gone. Three quarters of the way up that berm. A long home run for Zach Geloff. And the A's lead one to nothing. That was impressive. Zach Geloff continues his hot spring for sure. swings he hits a fly ball deep left center field this one's got a chance Isbell back and it's gone and the Giants go back to back here in the second David VR hits his first home run here this spring and the Giants now lead two to one one for 11 overall as he swings drives a high fly ball deep center it's hit well Isbell back to the track to the wall it's gone Onto the grassy berm, out to the deepest part of the ballpark, straightaway center, Casey Schmidt with his first home run of the spring. 
And the Giants tie the game up. It's one to one. The one strike pitch is a curve hit in the air to right center field and deep. Rodriguez going back. Julio's at the wall looking up. Gonna go! Jackson Merrill with his first of the spring. A long shot to the right of the batter's eye here in Peoria. And the Padres now lead it five to one. He continues to impress. This was on a breaking ball that hung in the middle of the plate. He goes to the big part of the yard. Up on the berm, 4-10 for the young Jackson Merrill. days away, March the 28th. Here's the pitch, swung on, and a well-hit ball. Deep down the right field line, heading to the berm. Tatis going back, and goodbye baseball. J.P. Crawford with his first home run of the spring with Arias aboard. It's now the Padres 5 and the Mariners 3. Number one for J.P. Crawford. Standard ovation by the Mariner fans. 0-2 oh, breaking ball hit in the air to deep left center field. Canzone and Classe. They go back to watch this one over the fence. Going to go. A three-run homer for Eggy Rosario. And a two-run double in yesterday's game. He goes deep here today. And the Padres now lead it 8-3. to three. That is how you want to come up and pinch hit. Swing, and that one is airmailed to left field, going back onto the Dell. And the track of the wall, he turns out of here. Deep onto the berm in left center field, Ezekiel Duran turns around an 0-2 slider from Hunter Strickland. And the home run extends the Rangers' lead to 8-3. to three. He swings and hits it deep to center field. Kendall George back. Kendall George at the track. He looks up. It's off the batter's eye over the line for a home run. And De Los Santos makes it a 5-1 Guardians lead. Not a cheapie either. 4-10 to straightaway center. And you have to add some altitude to the uh, ball as well.